Hello everybody and today we will be having a look at this lovely 1973 Buick LeSabre which belongs to a guy on TikTok called Hammond underscore 73 LeSabre I will leave a link to his TikTok in the description or in the comments so sometimes it don't work but yeah definitely go check his channel out if you want to see more on this lovely LeSabre right let's get into it first of all this is just your typical 70s land yacht and of course, you can't get much more 70s, this is just peak 70s, it's brown, brown paint, brown interior, just perfect. Love, I just love the paint, the paint looks really nice on it. It is lovely, the chrome looks nice, it's quite nice. I love, I honestly love this thing, I'm very grateful that he let me do a video on it. Show you all around it, this thing is massive, it is just over 20 feet long, which is humongous. And yeah, this this is was so well, seventy three. Cars like this have become a problem because of the oil crisis, where petrol just price just went through the roof, and this doing like zero point one mile to the gallon. Yeah, it, it, it didn't mix well with it, and it took the Americans a long time to get a grip with it to stop making big, big daft cars with massive engines. So we'll talk about the engine later on after we've had a look around the inside and out. So yeah, just look, I love the the grill on this front end. It is really nice. I really like this car. Chrome, it looks lovely. Right, we'll have a just look underneath, show you how it's solid this it is. It's pretty tidy underneath. A little bit here and there, but it's just a bit of surface rust. So all you do is get a wire brush, clean that down. Under seal, done and dusted. Yeah, this car is really nice. God, I'd honestly, I would love to have done this in person, but it kind of lives thousands of miles away. So that's a bit out of the question, but oh well, met do with what you've got, which is this video and me doing a voiceover. It's got lovely wheels on it. I would, I do prefer the original wheels with the nice uh, trims. I think this would have had, but that is nice. Take look underneath. Big damn fuel tank. And we'll have a look in the boot as well in a minute. The boot is gargantuan. See, so yeah, it's solid. Very nice. Very good condition. I'm not sure it'll be liking this. is actually a daily use car. This man's a legend. He dailies this thing. I know petrol where he's... Yeah, well, like, in Canada, petrol is nothing. It's, well, it's $1.44 or 40 which is like 83 uh, 83 pence just showing you again how solid it is but yeah their petrol is dirt cheap so we can run this here you could never afford to run that bloody thing so i want to say he must be really enjoying himself and one uh we'll talk about little things that he's done with his car it has got a welded diff so we've had such a powerful engine and that this thing is easy to just do drift drifting donuts yeah it's quite easy this thing is mental. It's got, yeah, I'm talking about the engine. The engine is a 350 cubic inch or a 5.7 litre V8. Jesus Christ, it is mad. So it's got 350 horsepower, 410 pounds of torque. 557 nanometers, so yeah, it's quite easy to kick out. But yeah, here's the great big boot you could raise a family of four in there, it is huge. You don't have to worry about getting your not getting all your shopping in there, you'll definitely get it all in. And here we have all the doors open, we'll show you all the quality door shut sounds to show how much of a nice got car this is. Look at those lovely seats, I bet they're the most comfortable things on the planet. Just brown, brown, brown plastic, brown and brown, and everything's brown apart from the bit of chrome trim. You gotta love it. I love stuff like this. It's daft. It's not. It's uneconomical, but whatever. The quality door shut sounds. Just listen to that. And one thing I do really love, I really love this style of door handles. You don't pull them out, you just push pull it, you push the button. I don't know why, but I just really like those door handles. Show you the other side and then we'll go have a look at the lovely, lovely interior. Right, 
Right then, let's get into the interior in a second. Right, here we go. The cabin. We've got wind-up windows. We're not that posh. This is a custom, which you think you got a lot of nice options on it. But you still got the wind-up windows. And then you've got these lovely door handles, like, cut and closed in. I really like that. And we've got electric window... Whip. Mirrors, I think. I think they're electric. White. This is the the thing is as well with the custom. At the start, that was the top end, but then it became the lower end. So I'm not sure. Well, here we've got a moving uh, steering column, and then we've got the horn. Doesn't that just say "Get out of my way"? But yeah, this is. I think this is a bit more higher end. It's got all these features, so it must be. So it's a bit confusing. My knowledge on American stuff isn't exactly great, so I might get a few things wrong. Turn this on and show you it's got air conditioning and heaters and all that. Something you definitely need in Canada. Especially now because it's the middle of winter and it's bloody freezing as you can see because of all the snow. So I do not envy him in that part. Lovely windscreen wipers, nice pattern. Don't look like it leave much uh, uncovered. that is for i don't know what that is for actually very very professional i know what everything does on these cars but that lever i am not quite sure here we've got the gear selector so it is a three speed automatic it says it, it the gearbox is a little sluggish but it's fine it get it gets it, it it works as long as it works there's different switches for things, air vents. And we've got an aftermarket radio there, which we'll show in a, in a sec. Lovely clock, I really like the nice clock there. We've got the rest of the dashboard, lovely glove box. Nice clunk when it shuts. And this, an absolute monster of an ashtray. It really is a 70s car, that is a monster of an ashtray. And then we've got the aftermarket radio because it's also it was showing me it's got a ginormous speaker in the back, and it does play some music, but I will have to cut that out because copyright's a thing. But my god, it they are loud. It, 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 it sounds muffled because of how loud they are. But I'll just show you them now. Look at the size of that. Yeah, you definitely will be able to hear your music with that. It's blasting. I'm just so that I can't actually let you listen to it. Right, let's have a go look around the back. And of course, more ashtrays. Everyone's got to have their ashtrays. Everyone's smoking back then. Ashtrays, ashtrays. Each, everyone's got their ashtrays. And go exhaust pieces. And of course, the rear view mirror exactly where it's supposed to be. Under the driver's seat. Quality door shut sounds. Now let's go have a look at the absolute monster of the 5.7 litre Beauty V8. He is thinking about swapping it for a Chevy 350 because parts for this are a pain in the ass to get, he tells me. So he's thinking of getting a Chevy 350 put in because of how easy the parts are to get. This thing is. Lovely. It's for quite a nice engine bay as well. We'll get it started up in a minute as well so you can hear this beast draw and then the uh, shots near the exhaust. My god, this thing's so loud it actually moved the camera. Now we'll get it started up. Okay, let this is this beast draw. That is what you call a proper engine. I love it. Who doesn't love a V8? Who doesn't? If you don't like the sound of a V8, it just is. Because you, you just love listen to it. And especially with that exhaust, it just sounds exquisite. Everyone needs a V8 in their life. Prove me wrong.
Listen, quite a, it's quite a, he's got a bit more roof than my little 1.5 litre side valve in my Morris Oscar, so he's got a bit more roof. Nice quality bonnet shut sounds. It's all cars quality, it's popular in America. Quality. I just think I might have a clue with the bonnet release. And then we will go for a little drive forward and back, which we will say, show in a minute. You, it does actually take, and very greatly does show you some driving clips. So you, if only I could have done it myself, I would have had the time of my life driving this. But uh, it's what it is. I'm very grateful. Like, just, just listen to this thing. More. This is an animal. Bloody knocks the camera around. Right then. Let's get back back to it. Back to me talking again. look back inside the last few things and here's the radio of course the little bullet it looks like a nice little aftermarket stereo i'm not sure what this would have came with originally probably just a normal radio but yeah here is well right now would have been in playing the some music but sadly copyright as i've said before can't but you can you can see how loud it is because these cameras checking around like hell so that does you don't even need to listen to it you can just see how loud that is Right, because the camera's shaking around like hell. So you've got the car, which is noisy as hell. And then you've got the speakers. So this thing must make an absolute racket going down the street. My God, you're there at 10 mile away. God, I'd love this car. I would honestly, if I could, I'd own this car. I love it. It's just perfect. Right, and now we are going to go for a little drive. It tells me it is like, it's just American cars. I mean, people say the same thing. It's like a bow, it floats. And they all do. If whether the luxury or not, this wasn't, this was kind of, I don't know, not quite luxury, I'm not sure. But they all did. Luxury, your basic car, like this, a bit more basic. Floated just effortlessly, we glided down the street effortlessly. Effortlessly, English quick. I'll get it right on the third try. But yeah, these things just glide down the street, especially it's got power steering as well, so you just turn it with one finger. But this is just, I bet this is just lovely to drive. Just doing it with one hand. And I love the. the Strip speedo as well, that's really nice. I really like uh, those strip speedos. Yeah, it's just one hand effortless, effortless steering it. Pretty sure it's just wafting down the motorway. Don't like that, just sucking up all of the little bumps, you don't feel a thing. It's like riding the magic carpet. Just at such a pleasure. Imagine it, I've never been sat in an American car. Oh, well, sat in a, a truck, but. Not like this. I bet this is just, you've got them lovely comfy seats. It just glides down and it just glides over, but you don't feel a thing. I bet this is one of the most pleasant things you could drive. Right, this video is now coming to an end. I'm just gonna park it up. Demonstrating again, the lovely wind up windows. And the switch it off, let's see rest. I bet you use the power uh, the whole tank just going up and down the street. That's one thing. That's the it is the Achilles heel of American cars, the fuel economy. But yeah, that is all for this video. And definitely go check his TikTok out if you want to see more on this Saber. It is brilliant. And just a big thank you for letting me do a video on his lovely car. And also, there will be a lot more videos like this because I've got many reviews lined up. And I hope you stay tuned for the next ones in the future. All right. Thanks for watching and bye for now.